Hi guys, today I'm going to do a real quick video and introduce queries. Um, I'm going to do a few videos after this, maybe quite a few, to uh, go into the details and all the little uh, possibilities with queries. But here I'm going to start with the most basic example and just show you how to get started because sometimes the first step is the hardest thing for people and getting over that you'll gain some confidence and move on to the subsequent videos okay so first of all you're gonna have to have two tables at least I mean technically you don't even need two tables to do a query but for more all practical purposes you use a query when there's something between two separate tables that you want to uh, capture and connect up okay so here are two way tables let's briefly just go over them this one's called customer financials and it has the customers number name last name date of birth salary and whether they're f a female okay and the customer contacts tables are second table it also has the customer number telephone of the cu customer and the state in which they reside now as you can see the customer number is is probably what we're going to be connecting these two tables on okay to establish some kind of communication between these two tables okay so I'm gonna go ahead and close these queries get my blank space over here go over to create go over to query design right here <coughs> click query design then you get this little show table dialog box I'm gonna add both my tables this is gonna be a list of all the tables I have over here <coughs> These are the two tables we just talked about, and we can double click to add them, then close this, and we can expand these. And as you can see, this in each one of these boxes is a list of all the fields or column headings. If you if you're not familiar with the access lingo, those are called fields of those respective tables. So if you remember, customer contacts table had the customer number, telephone, and state in which they reside and customer financials had a quite a, a bit more fields okay and as you can see there's this little connection uh, this little line between the two tables running from customer number to customer number now this if you didn't watch the, uh, one of the previous videos called access relationships uh, we set this relationship up between these two tables so that uh, the, uh, these two tables can communicate with each other based on that particular field because that field was common to both tables okay now if you didn't do a relate uh, create a relationship before coming to this step um, you can also do that at this point by grabbing and uh, clicking holding and then letting go on the field you want to create the relationship on in the other table okay so that is possible okay so let's let me show you you click you hold and then you come to the field that you want to drop it on you let go okay so you've effectively created that relationship okay so now let's say I want to create a query that the very basic one that takes a mixture of fields from these two field uh, tables and brings it into one query or one uh, which essentially look ends up looking like a table itself okay so let's say I want the last name of the person you double click see it comes down here on the left I want the date of birth of that individual I want their telephone number so now I'm taking a field from another table and you see it came here and I want their salary double click so here at the bottom you see I got four fields okay for my query three of them coming from the customer financials table and one of them coming from customer contacts and that's specified by this row right here called table row okay I can at any time change these as well but in subsequent videos I'm going to show you more uh, how do you how to get comfortable with queries and using them okay so at this point I don't want to do anything further. I don't want to uh, complicate this example, very beginner example, anymore. So I'm just going to run the query, and that's right here, top left. The exclamation point. You click that, and if you got any error messages, it would pop up at that point. But we didn't, and it takes us to the, uh, the results from our query. 
which was last name first, date of birth, telephone, which came from the customer contacts table, and salary, all in one sheet. Okay? So, at this point, you can close this query, or if you needed to make changes, you can go back to the design view, and we're back here, and then you can go back to the data sheet view, which is this view. So get comfortable with these views, going back and forth between them. One's kind of where you create things, and one's kind of the results from what you created. <clears throat> okay? So if I'm happy with my query, which I am, I go here and close the query and upon closing it Excel is going to ask me if I want to save the changes I made to this query and I click yes and I give the query a name so we'll call this query example one okay and you click OK and you'll see on the left side it shows up here and we're back to a clean slate I double click I see my query. I double click, I see my tables. Right? So I got two tables which we started with and now a query that we just did a very basic example of mixing up the two original tables. <clears throat> okay? So I hope this was helpful in just uh, introducing you to queries, um, getting over the, the initial beginner's hump, and uh, make sure to watch videos that I'll be posting very shortly on more and more uh, uh, things you can do in queries uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of things and it's hard to fit them all into one video or into one example so I'll try to do a few of those and uh, help you out okay so make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get all the updates and new videos I post comment favorite like rate and uh, let me know if there's any other sub topics uh, you'd like me to cover okay till next time have a great day